Good evening, and we begin tonight with the monster hurricane and its deadly impact already. Tonight, tonight the most powerful down. hurricane to hit Haiti in more than 50 years is causing chaos and panic. This is Matthew! You know, aid groups are standing by, ready to help Haitian people after the storm. It's tough, though. We know that there's going to be devastation that they could be facing even right now. Lord, use my eyes to see what others need. Use my hands to do some kindly deeds. Use my feet. To guide a struggling soul, my mouth to sing and say comforting words. I'm going on the Haiti trip with uh, Halifax Christian Church um, with the youth group, and I guess there's eight, eight youth and eight adults. These youth are incredible. They started really taking the mission of Halifax Christian Church to heart. They really did want to learn to love God better. They wanted to learn to love people and especially develop their own community. And they wanted to serve the world. Um, we're going to go to Haiti and we're going to um, go out there and help uh, mostly with the relief now since the hurricane. We just all felt like we felt something that we wanted to go there. Whatever, whatever we need to do. Uh, go down and help the people, help rebuild the homes, do some roofs. And it's just such a great opportunity that how can you say no? And it's part of our church motto, you know, it's serve, love God, love people, and serve the world. So we just felt really compelled to go there. And When I had the opportunity to go to Haiti, I was like, I've never been on a mission trip, and I thought it was the right time. I actually work as a tour guide, so I travel the world, and I've been to many places. And when this opportunity presented itself, I was very excited. I have never been on a short-term mission trip, so first for me. I would like to serve them and actually bring the love of Christ to them. Um, you know, instill some hope and stuff like that in the people and whatever is needed. Lord, use my eyes to see what others need. Use my hand. Everybody's always asked, well, what are you going to go down there for? Are you going to build a school? Are you going to do something like that? Actually, we're going to serve. We're going to be servants like Jesus was a servant. We are going to do what we need to do. We're not going with an agenda. We're not going with big expectations. We have tons of skills and abilities. We have 16 people now that are fully committed that cannot wait to get there and just be the hands and feet of the body of Christ and just serve. You know, from the beginning, we thought we would be building a basketball, volleyball net, sort of sports field. Of course, when the hurricane hit in October, uh, just compounding for them what had already happened in January 2010 with the earthquake. Now it's pretty much go down and whatever they need to be done, we'll do. Yeah, um, I had, I've owned a renovation business before, so I've, I've done lots of renovations and working with woods and you know that sort of thing. I'm an electrician by trade. So mostly I believe roofs on a lot of homes. There's a lot of villagers that don't have roofs on their homes and April starts the rainy season. Rico was talking about doing construction and, and stuff like that, which is funny because I was doing it this summer, so it's kind of like the Lord was you know, training me, I guess you could say, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to help out in the physical way down there, you know, just being a, uh, a helping hand and be able to you know, talk to people. and. Pretty much, we're there, put us to work, and whatever you need, we're excited to do. And we are going to be helping with hurricane relief. Uh, we may visit a few orphanages. Uh, we're going to be working with kids and working alongside some Asian workers. We're going to be working, we're going to do like a kids parade, which I'm, or day, or activity day, or something, and it's going to be really exciting. I'm so excited to play with the kids and, you um, know. Expect a lot of fun and tears and an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I'm really excited to meet children and help just in whatever way they need me to. Give them toys and give them, you know, things that we just think, oh, a pack of crayons, but to them it could be like something amazing and that's just gonna be very, I'm just so excited about that part. Oh yeah, the guitars, uh, we're gonna be bringing guitars there. So we're probably gonna do some music, some sing along with, with the Haitians there most likely and I can probably help out with that as well as labor, anything they need to do. Like First Corinthians, it says like, if you're without love, then you lose everything. And I think we need to bring that to those people who are like suffering in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. Uh, 
I know my parents are really concerned about uh, the people there. Um, besides the voodoo? As for me, I feel pretty good. I don't feel like I'm in any danger. I feel like I'm going in a really good place. Um, I feel really confident and safe. Um, I'm a little worried about uh, the voodoo culture, I guess. Uh, it's, it's a little scary, but um, uh, I'm more so excited to go just to do the work. I'd never really thought about being scared. Um, part of me doesn't really know what my expectations are because I've never been to a third world country, so I don't really know what I'm really expecting. Um, the language barrier, because I don't know any French at all or Creole is what they speak there, so I have no clue at all, so it's going to be tough communicating. Yeah, definitely. I think I am going to be very culture shocked because I've never been in a country that, you know, the only countries I've been to are either Spanish speaking or English speaking, so I've always had no problem communicating with people in a different country, so I think that's going to be like a real big, you know, like issue for me because I want to, I'm going to want to talk to everybody, but no one's going to understand what I'm saying and I'm not going to understand what they're saying to me, so. I hope I can do some form of communication as I help out. And I think also just learning the culture and learning how to respect their culture. I'm going to learn a lot from the Haitian people that are there um, and that I'm going to be blown away by their culture. I think that's also going to be kind of, not, not hard, but it's definitely going to be different just to learn someone else's culture but, and uh, their joy no matter their circumstances. So. Um, I expect to be changed when I come back. Yeah, I, I'm more so excited than anything else. My biggest expectations as we go is that we all, we all have grace for each other. We all have grace for any of the traveling concerns. We have an attitude of encouragement, an attitude of heart, of heart and, and of love, and just the attitude to serve. You know, we've taken a lot of immunizations, taken a lot of pills, just making sure that the water we drink is good, that the food that we've had has been prepared in water that's free. Um, looking at the mosquito population, I know when we looked at the um, weather that's coming up, there is a chance of showers almost every day that we're there. So are we prepared for that or were we more prepared for the sun? I have a lot of fair-skinned people going. Are we going to worry about heat exhaustion and sunburn? Um, so those worries, but because I also have a huge faith in God, that God led the right people to this amazing trip. And I know that he's going to provide for us. He's going to get us through. He's not going to send us there and not give us the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us and to give us the strength to deal with whatever comes. So as much as there's challenges and concerns, there's also the part of me that's just ready to trust. I want to make sure this trip glorifies God. So I want to make sure everything is done with excellence and to his glory. So that takes sacrifice but I've always felt that overwhelming sense of God's power and God's peace and joy in any circumstance. And now I see that we're almost there and I just can't wait to experience what God has in store for us in Haiti.